everyone welcome to Rata reading thank you so much guys for being here today and if you're new to this channel guys welcome i really hope you will be enjoying the content of this video today we're going to be doing another pick a card reading with the topic of who's keeping a tap on you and the reason why so i already pulled out some cards for you and if possible if time permits i'm going to be pulling out more cards later on uh, i'm going to be doing live shuffling but these are the cards that i've already selected you can intuitively choose or you can just pause this video whichever that you prefer to do so we have three selection here so this is gonna be group one this particular image gonna be group one this will be group two And this will be our third group here. Okay guys, um, please be reminded this is a general reading so take whatever that resonates with you and leave the rest just in case some of the messages does not resonate with you. If my energy does not resonate with you, you please uh, you can choose another reading you can choose another channel whichever that gonna make you feel happy guys please do not hold any sort of a, do not hold anyone responsible for your situation now let's get started with group number one hey welcome group number one this is for whoever resonated with the energy of this card here so let us see group one who's keeping a tap on you and why so before we look into this card, so let us see, right, group one. So what I'm seeing here, this could be some sort of a situation or a person that involved in a situation that you kind of uh, saw the ending, right? There could be some sort of an ending happened between you and this person. I'm strongly picking up this could be someone that could have played a lot of mind game with you. Probably they have prom they could have promised a lot of uh they could have given you a lot of empty promises. Maybe you might have seen seen or foreseen a lot of uh future, like so much of beautiful future with them, a lot of great dreams with them. But this is a person, but definitely you have witnessed some sort of an ending here. Right? It's an ending that happened right in front of you. Alright. Although things were really falling apart with this person and you, right, you had a lot of hope. It gives me an energy that this woman who's standing at the edge of seeing something is definitely uh, destroying, right? It's destroying and this woman gives me an energy of hope. Perhaps you had a lot of hope on this person. Eventually, you have to walk away from this person or from this situation here, right? This could be quite an uh, egoistic person here or someone that is quite prideful. This person does not want to back down or this person does not want to be the first one to reach out or to fully accept or take responsibilities for the action of them, right? Right now, I'm seeing this is a person who's quite unhealed, right? This is a person who's yet to do any healing work on themselves. Very sneaky person here. Right, a lot of uh, sneaky energy coming from this person. So let us see who's this person. This could be someone that has some sort of a pride that they are on a, some sort of a spotlight, right? They could be on some sort of a spotlight or they think that they are some sort of a star or they have to be the center of attention always. Or right now, this is a person who's keeping a tap on you because they are feeling that the spot has turned on you, right? So let us see who's this person. We have here ashamed, unworthy, disgraced, and humiliated, right? Perhaps this could be you, right? This could be someone that somehow push you to a place of you feeling unworthy about yourself. I am seeing here. And we have free, liberated, right? You definitely have liberated yourself from the situation here. This person uh, might have used 
your own uh, your own action your own past or something that you might have shared to this person to cage you i'm saying here this is a person who could be really a good in playing mind game or a great manipulator here they know how to uh, convince someone or they know their way out or this is a person who could be a very sweet talker right sweet talker they can't really let you go or this situation go because they are currently going through what they have put put you through group number one because i am picking up an energy that you definitely left the situation uh not because you gave up you really had a lot of hope you had a lot of hope on this person on the situation here somehow it all came to an end and you like as if like the universe pushed you to liberate yourself from this situation here and this person can't accept perhaps you are the first one that free yourself from this from them which is which is perhaps is some sort of a disruption in their plan perhaps so let us see this is a person who could be they might have a strong air element gemini libra aquarius if not they might embody strong air, air signs characteristic could be very intelligent this person could be very intelligent good communicator they are able to lead something they able to convince people easily they have a lot of uh, great attribute in them but perhaps this the person could have been misusing it or still misusing it for their own benefit or some sort of hidden agenda so let us see who's this person we have six of wands we have gold talks talk about happily single having fun we have the unseen we have full moon how is the fruit of your hard work we have tap here number 24 we have here intensification we have your star ancestor follow the voice of your soul we have your change we have your forgiveness We have here five of pentacles and we have two of wands here. So let us see who's keeping a tap on you tap on you and why. Something about hugging. Hugging could be very significant here between you and this person. Hugging could be very significant here. Or even eyes or the stare right this there i am picking up here right um you might have seen a lot of red flag on this person i have to say there's a lot of red flags on this person i'm also picking up a uh, group number one this aquarius season it's gonna be very very gonna, gonna be very happy for this person as if this person gonna be reaping the uh, some sort of a karma bad karma which is in a way you're gonna be reaping the reward and this person gonna be reaping the karma of their own doing here right perhaps the situation really intensified between you and this person till the situation fall apart like oh you you had to take this major decision to move away from this person right why are they keeping a tap on you right because there's a changes is coming there's a changes is coming you have seen the unseen which is you have recognized the actual nature of this person or who is this person this person is a tough if they are not actually stealing anything from you this can be an energy stealer this can be a um energy vampire they they meant to be around they want to be around you so that they can able to absorb drain your good luck your abundant your your positive energy here right group one 
the other the other reason i could see this person is keeping a tap on you because you are definitely stepping up you are stepping up into some sort of a big major glow up this could be some sort of a recognition and we have here there is a crown so perhaps there is a lot of people there's a lot of people uh seeing you in high regards or there's a lot of eyes on you or you are getting some sort of a fame or recognition and a lot of people recognizing you and this person kind of missing they are missing the reason being because they perhaps felt that they you kind of locked them out from the situation this could be even uh, a denial here this person able to know most of this happened because of them but yet they feel as if like you intentionally close the door because you kind of do not want to share this abundance or some sort of a big blessing that's gonna come your way the more they see you gaining this recognition or success on one way or another or even you are changing as a person it's kind of more intensifying within them you know within them for them to keep on um, look into things within them which is perhaps they need to start transforming or start to do their shadow work here For some, I'm also picking up that this person feels there is a strong connection, like a soul connection between you and this person because there's a lot of stars here. This person feels there is a strong... soul connection here. And you guys going to be some uh, somewhat going to be together later on or this person is anticipating for some sort of a success like you guys going to be coming together maybe they're going to be changes right changes in you that you're going to be accepting them back so this person trying to keep a tap on you and for one reason or another for the very first time i'm kind of getting an image where there is a people who's actually watching right there's a people who's watching You are so comfortable and this person, perhaps this person not only having one fake account or they perhaps have several fake accounts or they are trying several other ways to keep a tap on you or maybe they are using some other people's account to keep a tap on you or something here, right? This forgiveness, right? Perhaps they are being pushed to seek for forgiveness from you but I do not see that, I do not see that they want to seek for forgiveness here. This is a person, I am picking up an energy group number one. If it is not resonating, please leave it. I'm getting that this person has so much of big ego and this person not going to be uttering the word to uh, seeking for apology or they're going to be sorry for what they have done. This person could be just coming forward to just uh, patch up things with you to start over again or start wherever they, both of you left. I do not see that they're going to come back and seek for forgiveness here. So I'm saying this person perhaps keeping a tap on you because this person could see, right, you are kind of very comfortable wherever you are. Like you are unbothered, unbothered by them. Unbothered by them. For some, I'm saying this person also want to see, right, are you, are you, what is the growth or what is actually happening? Because they kind of left out, you see, that they are kind of left out. The key is outside. Perhaps they used to be a very key person, very important person in your life, but not right now. And they are not sure what is happening. Is there anyone uh, new in your life? Yeah. And for some, this person also want to see, right? Uh, are you being with someone... They're kind of questioning too, right? The unseen part. They are kind of questioning how... As if like this is a person who could be a very good... Uh, 
planner, you know, this is a person who strategizes every single step, every single uh, aspect of a plan to make sure the plan works out. They perhaps uh, reus within them so that there's no loophole or there's no uh, there's no way people would be able to uh, spot any sort of a issue or weaknesses in the plan. You know, this is a very good mastermind here this person so i'm saying this is a person who could be very cunning right maybe they i'm ge i'm getting an energy that this person perhaps uh could be looking as if very innocent they might have a very innocent uh nature or that's how they present themselves or how people perceive them but they are not they are so intelligent but somehow you could be the first one that able to see the unseen right as if like you were there literally with them to like you know everything that happened and it kind of make them uh baffled perhaps because you they are not sure how you could able to recognize this uh, and uh, it gave me an energy that this could be some they, they kind of accepting right there could be more than uh, you might have shared to them there could be another way how you're able to know who is this person or what they have what they have been doing because you might be shared to them you could have actually confronted them even though you don't have any any solid evidence or proof but this person kind of really questioning how you're able to see the unseen you know because we have two eyes here a lot of sneaky energy here this person has been doing this person is a uh, is hard worker in that manner i have to say right this is a person who put a lot of effort to make sure the plan goes very well based on their planning you know based on their own strategy here so it's kind of really disturbing them how you able to spot this all right for them they want to know how you able to spot it and the more you are holding back i am getting an energy by you closing the door you kind of hold back you know you perhaps confronted them you might have actually put everything on the table and you did not even wait for this person to explain because you have seen the unseen and you perhaps left you left the scene so it's kind of intensified within them to wanting to know right how you able to caught them how you able to for example uh know things which is which is impossible for anyone to know right because it's happening perhaps in their own mind perhaps they have been strategizing in their own mind as if like you are reading their mind so it's kind of really disturbing for this person you know it's very very disturbing and a uh, strong crown chakra activation here so those person questioning as if like this person know there's something like you might have some sort of a power so as, as you are the one actually unlocked this right or you are the one actually revealed all this you literally caught this person's attention in a big way right mermaid could be very very significant here give me an energy of a mermaid here so let's let us see quickly what this person want to tell you or is there anything else that you need to know about this person so i'm getting strong gemini libra aquarius energy but not necessarily you might be a pisces here or yeah you could be a water sign here cancer, cancer pisces scorpio full moon could be very very significant here something could have happened in the recent full moon or this person uh, is could be uh, something happening like starting to happen in this person's life perhaps this person starting to reap the consequences right of the action towards you starting from the full moon here reason full moon so let us see so we have here night out night out so this could be someone that night out perhaps this could be someone like a party lover someone that loves to party someone yeah as i mentioned this is a person who wants to be in some sort of a spotlight right right something about the eyes could be really really significant here we have crystal you perhaps 
body crystals because of them or something is related to them about crystal right we have your synchronicities you perhaps getting a lot of synchronicities about this person as i'm getting a message uh, message that this person might be co uh, contacting you very soon we have your copycat copycat is as if it's getting me an energy that this could be someone right that could be a pretend uh, be a good listener but later on this could be someone that will be using it to accuse you to 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 hold you on some sort of a uh, like hold you on liable for something right we have your sudden unexpected here right yes you're going to be receiving some sort of an unexpected news from this person and last one card i just want to one last card we have vacation here right you might have went for a vacation with this person or you might have recently went for a vacation and this person gonna be meeting you there so be careful i'm picking up an energy that this person gonna be coming out of nowhere with the gratitude here perhaps this person gonna be using perhaps this person know so much about yourself perhaps this person gonna copy some of your uh, what you are expecting from this person this person gonna try to deliver to you so that you're gonna accept them back or you're gonna give them the information that they are seeking for group one yeah, number one could be significant here number one could be significant letter s could be significant the sign of leo could be significant this person could be a uh, aries leo or sagittarius too this person perhaps love to eat that's another thing that i'm getting love to eat So this is what I'm getting for you, group number one. I really hope this reading resonates with you. Let me know. Till then, I will see you on my next reading, guys. Bye. Hey, welcome, group number two. This is for whoever selected this particular card here. So let us see, group number two, who's keeping a tap on you and why. So what I'm picking up here right away, the energy that who's keeping a tap and tap on you and why, right? This could be a very, very new connection. This could be a new group of people. Definitely there is more than a person here, group two I am getting, right? You are in the energy of attracting a lot of people's attention on you, I have to say. I'm getting an energy that this could be the way how you lead your life or your choices or something here. They are trying to understand. If you have recently changed job, you have recently did something new like relocation. This can be even a new connection, right? Like any of your family members have recently got married, engaged or something. This could be your new relative or new immediate family members is trying to keep a tap on you. They are trying, they can't really understand you or they can't really decode you. That's the energy that I'm getting. So let us see who is this person. We have your love and we have your worried. Right? For some, I'm saying that some of you perhaps have ended something recently. This could be some sort of a long term. Uh, connection some sort of intimate connection or this can be even a commitment right some sort of a commitment you have ended this and but it gives me an energy that you are unbothered like you are so uh, happy-go-lucky you are leading your life as if nothing happened like you are going you are doing great but it's kind of worrying for them perhaps this is very concerning for them this could be someone who could be older than you right they are worried perhaps that something really you are going through. This people is trying to understand, right? Perhaps whatever that you ended recently could be something very major, you know? This can be even you have left a job, you know? This could be a job that you have done for so long, a uh, long period of time and you currently have changed. This can be even a changes of a perspective in you, right? You could be a very hardworking person. Perhaps now you are trying to take things slowly. Or you are changing from working into like you want to jump into a business, right? That is a big major leap that you have taken. You have already taken. And you are you are leading your life, right? 
you are being in the present moment, right? And you are not disturbed by all these people who are actually trying to pay attention to you, but they kind of like perhaps trying to uh, channel their worry, their 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 concern to you, but. What is really concerning them even more is that you are not concerned about it at all, right? For some, this can be something involving finance, like career or business, or if not, it can be very much related to, to, to family, right? To institution, right? If you guys kind of walk out of some sort of a commitment recently, right? And you are having a very healthy boundaries. Also with this card, I'm getting an energy that you are having a strong boundaries with these people, right? So let us see. But I'm heavily picking up female figures, right? It's not a feminine energy, but more a female figure. Could be the one that keeping a tap on you. So let us see. We have your king of swords this person keeping a tap on you group two we have cupid's arrow we have the king okay we have love and mother yourself we have here dishonesty number eight we have spring we have snake shirt shirt all skin release again you release something rejection we have page of pentacles yes this could be someone from your new job or something you have started and we have five of cups here a lot of sadness right okay there are a lot of things here why people are keeping a tap on you and who's this person right so firstly with this king of swords and the king here this could be someone like uh, an authority figure or someone who who kind of very detached or they are a uh, distant from you right literally this can be a distant between you and this person if not this could be someone that from far is observing you and uh, but this is a person who has a lot of power or they have power over you in one way or another right with this uh, tower card watchtower i'm seeing here um, there is a difference between you and this person a major difference this can be age different this can be status different or even life experience different with the watch also i'm getting an energy this person is observing you from far right this person is observing you from far this person keeping a tap on you right there's an energy here i'm picking up that this person want to protect you right it's giving me an energy that is a, this person perhaps see and understand or could even sense that innocent coming from you, right? With this mother yourself, perhaps this person feel that they need to mother you or this can be the energy that you are giving out, right? But this person also realizing why are they keeping an intense step on you? Because this person is seeing a lot of a sight of you here. And it's disturbing them a lot, I have to say. Maybe with this love and uh, arrow here, Cupid arrow, perhaps this person have a crush or a sudden, uh, a sudden unexpected attraction towards you. Attraction towards you. Perhaps this person want to give you something here, right? But there's a defensive energy or there's an energy of can't really uh, come forward or be be op can open up to you because you are sometimes being the energy of five of cups right perhaps this person could see the sadness in you or this person can able to feel that sense of uh, betrayal dishonesty in you or you are in the sense of uh, you are in the energy of releasing you know you are still in the energy of coming out coming out from this grieving energy here so this person is trying to observe you from far i'm saying From with this card, the king here, perhaps this person want to give you some sort of an offer, right? Some sort of an offer here. This offer could be help you to increase or help you to go to the next level here, right? With, with the A tier dishonesty, this person somehow could able to sense, right? This there could be some sort of a betrayal happened. With the A tier, it can be like a sexual betrayal or some sort of an asset, inheritance, money, position, or something could have happened in the past to you. 
right and you are in the energy of releasing you know you are releasing it there's a lot of attraction coming from this person towards you, right? This person could be surprised when you walked into this person's life. It could have happened unexpectedly and the moment you came in, there could be a sudden surge of energy, surge of, a surge of energy in them, you know? There's a sudden uh, flow of energy, right? Because this person is the king of thoughts energy. Why are they keeping a tap on you here and picking up for some of you? This person want to give you some sort of an offer, right? Or this can be even a communication. This person want to have a communication with you. But perhaps there is some level of uh, obstacles that this person is finding it very hard to overcome. This can be, this person doesn't know what to talk or how to connect to you. I could see this person could be trying to have a very sudden conversation or a sudden uh, gesture. I'm saying this person just doing a very random thing so because they are just trying their luck. I am picking up here, all right? Maybe by by get by accumulating or collecting some random information from from others, perhaps uh, eavesdropping from your conversation, this person try to collect as much as they can, and they are trying to come forward to present this offer or this con uh, communication with you. But it's just not hitting the spot. It's just not uh, this person not able to get your attention here. See, yeah. this person is wanting to have some sort of. Uh, beginning here right with a shed of old skin this person want to also bring some sort of a spring right the sense of spring sense of bringing something new in your life right this person feels like you need a lot of love right now this person feels like you need love this is a person perhaps have went through or have have somehow witnessed experienced the same situation like you that could be the major reason why it's, it's so relatable for them and this person's having faith you know having faith so why are they keeping a tap on you because they are trying to understand how to come forward how to present themselves to you There could be several people involved here. This person is keeping a tap on you or and also another person too. I'm saying that female figure. There could be a female figure around you. This person could be actually paying attention to the female figure too because they want to collect some sort of information here. They are trying. They are trying, right? They are not sure whether will you accept their offer, they are offering to you. Will it be sufficient? So let us see what else this person want to tell you or who's this person keeping a tap on you. Letter R or S could be significant here. Letter E could be significant here. Could be really, really significant here. This person perhaps loves to stare you. Or you could be catching them staring at you. Group 2. You have your unexpected call and message. This card kind of jump out. It gave me energy that this person is really thinking to reach out. Group 2. This is a very, very specific message. Perhaps some of you really need to hear this today. This could be a major confirmation for you. This person could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. 
you have strong decline. This this is this is the energy that they are getting, right? Your direction and strong decline. Maybe you might maybe they feel as if that you will decline them. That could be what is troubling this person, you know, it's troubling them. Maybe they kind of like losing the sleep over you, over the situation here of not sure on how to come forward. We have you unlock me. It's I do not get this is your past person energy. It could be for some, but having I'm picking up this could be a new connection here. Unlock me, perhaps. This person is trying to say to really pay attention to them, right? Maybe you kind of really in your own energy. Maybe you are still healing or you are still in this energy of releasing. And this person wants you to really notice them. Notice them. Or they could be even people are blocking, right? These people are blocking this person's energy. Like I mentioned, there could be people around you and you can't really notice them, right? It kind of, uh, they kind of being in the background, right? We have here, intentionally holding back. This person intentionally holding back, right? Their true feeling, right? They have a lot of feelings towards you. They want to come, come forward, right? They want to be your king here. We have two kings here. Right? This definitely someone could be very mature, very wise, someone with power, someone with authority here. This person wanna be an authority person in your life. Group two, right? We have here keep moving willpower, right? Yeah. They could sense a sadness in you, right? The sadness in your eyes. This person wanna be your protector here. They wanna be your supporter here. That could be one of the major reasons why. We have here somewhere else they hope they could actually bump you bump with you somewhere else they could actually able to see you anywhere maybe that could be one of the major information they are looking by keeping a tap on you is there anywhere else that they can meet you or anything right right perch they are perching perching right perching they are reflecting back that I'm getting. I do not see this person to be prideful, but they are kind of releasing or they are seeing you to release this, right? You are in the energy of self-care, right? This is something that they, they are able to relate and they are waiting for the right message, you know, the right signal from you so that this person can come forward to bring you this cup of uh, love or this proposal to you, group two. Letter T could be significant here. Letter E could be significant. Number 14. Number 21 could be significant here. Number 8 could be significant. This is what I have for you, Group 2. I really hope this reading resonates with you. Let me know. Till then, I will see you on my next reading, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, welcome. Group number 3. This is for whoever resonated with this card here. The energy of this card. So, let us see who's keeping a tap on you and why group three so what i'm picking up here right away the energy of that could be at least two to three people is keeping a tap on you but i'm heavily picking up this could be three people two people from a same situation or from same place somewhat they are connected right this could be two people from the same family from same situation um, same place like a workplace or a business um, neighborhood or something if not the other one is from somewhere else there could be three people is keeping a tap on you group three let us see who is this people that are keeping a tap on you and why we have here empowered and we have okay group number three what i'm getting here the energy of these people are very grateful they are so grateful of able to meet you cross the path with you you are still present in their life right now they they are really empowered right they are really empowered they are feeling very uh, empowered by you by by even knowing you right you are a very powerful being right but there's also an energy of they can't really know a lot of things about you there's uncertainty here perhaps there could be people are actually trying to uh, 
collect information through social media they are they are doing a lot of research on you but they, it's kind of bringing them nowhere right they can't really able to collect any sort of a significant information about you and it's it's still it's it's uh, even pushing them to be very much attracted or drawn to you because you give out this mysterious vibe to them and you are also kind of really paying attention to yourself right now and you are not actually paying attention to anything around you right but not in a very self-absorbed way but you are just minding your own uh, thing you are just doing what you like you have your own routine you are taking care of yourself right for some this can be even these people could see you to be very strong right this can be like physically you're strong or it can be like they could sense right they could see something major could have happened right that made that that made you who you are right now you could be a very generous person this person could be able to see your generous act and it could have actually drawn them even more i'm picking up uh, there could be three people and another one could be younger than you there could be three to four people i'm getting an energy here i am seeing that could be people from the places that you usually go to right in your day-to-day -day. this could be people that you meet in your day-to-day -day life letter u could be significant here letter u could be significant here one of them could be strong taurus virgo or capricorn energy earth element i'm getting some of them can have a strong gemini libra aquarius energy All of them want to give you some sort of an offer here, right? All of them want to give you some sort of offer or they want to they wanna make you as their world, you know? They, they really want to bring you into their world or they want to enter into your world here, right? They, they want to be very, very connected with you. So let us see. Who are these people and why are they keeping a tap on you? Candle could be significant here for some of you. Candle reading could be significant. Perhaps this person like to read or something. So let us see. We have Queen of Disc. Yeah. Some of them could actually see you to be their divine counterpart, or they think that you can be their good, uh, their match, their perfect match. These people, some of them actually intend to really propose you for a long-term commitment. But that's the reason why I'm picking up. That could be people actually want to offer you something stable, something steady because they could see, right? You are so strong. You are very decisive. You know exactly what you want. But it's just they does not know what happened in the past or there's a lot of uh, things that they just want to know before or even along the way. along the way but not in a way that they they are questioning or they kind of doubting your they they know that you are a very trustworthy being here let us see we have your karmic relationship we have the river right there's a distortion here there's a distortion here or there's only several situations or several information that they are getting they are not getting the full picture or there is a, some sort of a trouble for them to see this can be a distortion from the and you know group three there could be other people involved right for some they have their own perspective or the way how they perceive you but there could be a lot of disturbance external disturbance here we have manifestation what you seek is seeking you for some this could be actually your divine counterpart your divine counterpart in a lot of these people, this group of people, there could be one of them is your divine counterpart who's keeping a tap on you maybe you yet to know we have unexpected money.
for some i'm picking up also an energy that these people want to give you some sort of an offer like monetary offer this can be like a promotion to, like be, be empowered here like giving you some sort of a status a position something that you can grow put you in in a in a position of power here right this could be this could give you a lot of happiness you know a lot of unexpected happiness money abundance here but they are uncertain here but they know whatever they are seeking is you they are coming to you i have to say we have winter all right something could have happened during christmas or the season of christmas here Or oh, this is how they feel right as if they don't have any information about you we have your elder move beyond ancestral pattern here i'm saying for some of you who's keeping a tap on you this could be someone that meant to come in your life here group three like your divine counterpart perhaps in the month of december or the season of uh, christmas here perhaps you have done something all right this can be you let go your karmic relationship or something or you kind of uh, settle some sort of a karmic death here which is you move beyond the ancestral patterns and there is a blessing coming your way this could be a blessing through like a new relationship this could be a new uh, relationship that's going to be grounded it could be your next relationship would be someone that you're going to get married with right we have a joy you see there's there's something that's going to be coming in unexpectedly right for some this could be even an invitation right these people want to invite you somewhere or they want to be going out with you they want to bring you to a date they want to bring you to have fun For some, they, they like to see you, right? You bring a lot of happiness in these people here, right? You are represent joy. We have wonders. Yeah, wonders. They wonder about you. This could be people that you have a very strong communication with. This could be people that kind of always surround you. Perhaps try to establish some way or some communication with you because they want to always be around you or be a part of your life or be a part of your world here. For some, you kind of know who's this person, right? But I am picking up an energy here. Whatever you seek is seeking you. This person who has could have been uh, keeping a tap on you for a while right now. They're going to be coming in very soon. Unexpectedly. You have King of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Hermit. Strong Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Your divine counterpart here. This person might have a strong Virgo. Or right now they are in the energy here because they want to come forward to give you this offer. Group three. You can anticipate an offer coming in. This could be a marriage proposal. This can be a job. Some sort of a promotion here. Something that's going to put you in a place of power. In a place of people will be respecting you. And it's going to give you a lot of movement. This could be someone older than you. They might have beard or long hair. Their, pur their favorite color could be purple. They might have salt and pepper sort of a hairstyle or something. Right. Yeah, someone could be older than you. Or they... they tend to come out to be quite experienced right they have a lot of experience in their life right someone who loves nature i'm saying someone like a nature lover here something could have happened in the christmas month between you and this christmas season between you and this person here
Oh, the color orange can be significant here too. Orange. Or there is a lot of... Uh, yeah. Or money. So let us see what else you need to know about this person. Or who's keeping a tap on you here. Group 3. We have here fight, rebuild perhaps. Yeah, this could be even a situation here. There's something happened in the this could be something happened in the month of December or a season of Christmas here. And this person is really thinking, maybe they are thinking there's no second chance, or maybe that's what the uncertainty is all about. We have old school. This person tend to come out to be kind of old school, right? Old soul I'm picking up. They might have a lot of conditioning here. Maybe in the December, that's what they have moved beyond this. That's why I'm picking up an energy that this person gonna pick up the pace. This person gonna come forward to tell you. Maybe they have been replaying this event all so many times in their head and yeah, I'm a changed person. They, they, they have changed themselves. Perhaps they wanna come forward to offer you something. Again, we have karmic connection here. There is a disturbance here. There is a disturbance between you, this new person and this karmic here, all right? Because it's as a deception here. Like there could be some sort of a choices, you know, or you tend to fall back to your karmic, right? If you want this new person to come, you need to really stay, stay put with your decision here, right? Do not fall back to your karmic. That's what I'm getting. There could be children or kids involved here. This could be a marriage person also who's keeping a tap on you so let us see we have obsessed this person's very obsessed over you right that could be the i got the energy just now psychic abilities perhaps it's get this person getting a lot of messages through dream about you okay the color orange uh, i wanted to say sacral chakra maybe there's a lot of a uh, strong passion you know strong sense of passion coming from this person towards you right but it's it's as if like they are holding themselves back because i did hold myself back so perhaps this person is so obsessed over you but not in a way very lustful but because they know like you are the divine counterpart for some right. play This could be significant here strong earth element i'm picking up taurus virgo capricorn this is a very studious person here very studious person so this is what i'm getting for you guys group number three i really hope this reading resonates with you let me know till then i'll see you in my next reading guys bye bye